Hello, my name is Didier Stevens. I'm a Microsoft MVP and a SENS Internet Storm Center handler. And I teach this training on malicious documents. I'm an expert in malicious PDFs and malicious Microsoft Office documents. And I also hold the SENS GREM certification, reverse engineering of malware. I develop my own tools to analyze PDF documents and MS Office files, and those tools are used by a lot of analysts. So in this training, I'm teaching you how to use these tools. Let's take a look. The first day we are looking at PDFs. So I'm going to give you an introduction to the PDF language. You don't need to know anything about the PDF language. I will uh, teach you the essentials necessary for uh, PDF analysis. And then we will use my tools, PDF ID and PDF parser. So PDF ID is used to identify PDF files, to triage them, to see if we need to analyze them or not. And then PDF parser is the analysis tools uh, for PDF files. I have uh, 20 uh, exercises that I uh, completely designed for you. So they will teach you step by step how to analyze files, PDF files with PDF ID and PDF parser. And once we have done this, when we have worked through all those exercises, we will analyze real malicious samples. So let me show you how PDF ID and PDF parser work with a very simple uh, exercise. So I run a PDF ID on exercise 5 and then you get uh, this information. Uh, I will explain you all about it. But here you notice JavaScript with a count of 1 and open action with a count of 1. So this uh, tells you that this PDF document contains names for JavaScript and open action so that it contains most likely JavaScript that will execute automatically when the PDF uh, is opened. So this uh, is a good candidate for further analysis uh, with PDF Parser. So with PDF Parser, I'm going to search for uh, open action. Yeah, so an object one, it's a, it's a catalog object, so it's a root object. I'm going to tell you all about uh, those objects. So the type is catalog and you can see here an open action and that is 70R. So that actually refers to object 7. All objects are numbered, a number and a version. So th this refers to object 7. So let's uh, select object 7, object 7. And you can see object 7 is an action object for JavaScript. And uh, here is uh, the contained JavaScript. So it's actually just a, a message box in this uh, exercise. So this is the exercise we are going to work through step by step. They become uh, more uh, difficult uh, with obfuscation, for example. And then we move on to real samples. Now on day two, we are going to focus on malicious Microsoft Office documents. So I'm going to give you an introduction to the OLA uh, for file format. The OLA file format is the binary format that was used by Microsoft uh, Office before the release of uh, Office 2007. So again, you don't need to know anything about this format. I'm going to explain it to you. And then from uh, Microsoft Office 2007 on, a new format uh, was introduced, the Microsoft Office OpenXML format, which is actually a zip file containing XML files. And we are, I'm also going to teach you that because um, macro files, uh, macros, they are still stored as OLE files inside those OpenXML files. Okay. So, and we are going to then work through about 20 custom uh, designed exercises, exercises I made specially for this training. We are going to analyze them with uh, 
all it up. And when we have worked through those 20 exercises, then we are going to analyze several real malicious uh, documents found in the wild. Let me give you an example. I'm working here on a real malicious document here. And you can see these are all the streams that you can find uh, in the OLED file. They, they all uh, have a name. You can see here macros, macros, macros. And then here, the indicator M indicates that this stream, stream 7, contains macros. So let's take a look at this macro stream. So I select stream 7. And since it contains VBI macros, VBI macros are compressed. So with option minus V, we decompress them. And let's pipe this through less, sorry. Let's start this again. Let's pipe this through less. Okay, so this is uh, the macro. Here, actually, those constants here, those uh, values that look like uh, XML, uh, sorry, hex code, they actually uh, encode the URL because uh, this is uh, a downloader. And you can see there's a, a lot of obfuscation here. I'm going to teach you all about that. But I also have uh, several plugins for my OLED dump tool. So let me run the plugin for uh, HTTP heuristics on this sample, like this. And then you can see that for stream 7, the plugin ran and it, it was able to decode the URL. So I'm going to teach you how to decode this uh, manually, but uh, know that we have also plugins. We are going to use uh, plugins that do this uh, automatically for us. This training is very hands-on. I prepared a lot of exercises for you. So if you are interested, please visit the website and register.